Yeah. I hate bugs. I hate bugs. Good morning, everybody! Yay! <laughs> That's so cool. Are you talking? Well, he's just trying to tell you guys good morning! Why are you so cute today? Are you ready to eat some food? Don't get too excited there, buddy. Boom. A little taste. You'll like it. It's banana. Hi, open <laughs> So we just left Ikea, and now we are at Chile's getting some food. Charles is sitting in his high chair, he's eating food right now. His baby food. Yay. We're home. Sorry if that was really short. We went to go look at IKEA for stuff for our new apartment and grab something to eat. We're so excited because we can get the keys on Thursday for our next place and we're really excited about it. And I can't wait to show you guys because when you see this place, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, because that's my expression of the new place. So we just got home, but now we're heading to urgent care because we get Sarah's bites checked out. So we want to know what we have in our house, and we're wondering if it's mites or bed bugs or something worse. Yeah, because I'm really, really itchy, and all night I was itchy, and I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be fine. But my everything's really itchy, and I'm getting new bites, and just, it's weird. It could be like human mites and they're microscopic so you can't really see them unless you put them under a microscope so it's better safe than sorry <laughs> so i'd rather check back at the urgent care again found out possibly mites someone at one of our viewers mentioned it and i'm not sure it's because you remember we have that little plant growing of like basil i think they were attracted to that and somehow whoa charles He's being destructive mode at the hospital. So much fun! Looks like we're gonna go home and uh, clean the crap out of the house. Sarah is freaking out right now. I'm gonna give you garlic pills because mites hate garlic. And I'm gonna take garlic, I'm gonna rub my whole body in tea tree oil, I'm gonna take an onion bath. She. I go crazy. Yeah. I hate bugs. I hate bugs. Do you know a normal person usually finds a remedy and just says, okay, I'm just gonna do that one? No, Sarah finds all the remedies and does every single one. I can't stand this. Tea tree oil. I'm gonna rub my body in this. I'm gonna put this in my shampoo. We're gonna need like three bottles of that. Garlic. They hate garlic. I'm not eating sugar for a whole week. <laughs> Coconut oil. I don't know. I'm just gonna try these in pill form. We're gonna look for bleach now so we can bleach everything in that apartment. I'm so happy we're moving. Yeah. Ugh. Bleach. Well, he's sleeping through all this. You're home. Is that bubble bath? You have bubbles on your hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm cleaning the bathroom and then I'm gonna start cleaning everything. Yeah, we're bleaching everything right now. So we're making Sarah's bath concoction to get rid of this nastiness. Yeah, this helps get rid of mites. Spearmint and eucalyptus. I'm just putting it all over my legs and my feet and just ugh. and this is a lifesaver. You can add this to your bath. And it's tea tree oil and then just a lot of mint. And then for my hair, I put it's eucalyptus, like a minty, and I put some of this tea tree oil in with the shampoo and rubbed it all in my hair. For this, it's a foaming bath, eucalyptus, which Help get rid of that mite thing. I'm, a, I'm about to put this in the tub. So I'm making a full cap. And I'm going to put this 
under running water so it makes it really foamy and just minty. Alright, I'm dumping it in. It should start foaming up pretty soon. Bubbles. Yeah. It's gonna make bubbles in here, which is good. Our whole entire house smells like tea tree oil. So I think I think I know the culprit of why we have these. I think it's when we were looking at houses and condos and apartments, sitting on other people's furniture when we were in there. Yeah, you know, furniture, make it look cool. Should have thought about that before we sat down. I didn't think we'd get this though. Kind of like something you should really be aware of. No one told us about this ever. If you're ever going to go look at a house or look at apartments, don't sit on the furniture. You never know what's been on it. Look at this. It's a nice big bed in the living room. We're sleeping out here and trying to quarantine the bugs in the bedroom and kill them. So that takes about three days for them with no human blood to die. So this bed is partially couch, partially twin air mattress. And this is to cover the crack because Charles is going to sleep over here thus tonight. Aren't you lucky, buddy? Look at this big bed out in the living room. You drinking your sippy, Charles? <laughs> We're debating if we should just buy a whole new bed. Now, throw out all the blankets, pillows, buy new everything with the pillows and blankets because we're creeped out by bugs and we're probably going to sleep in the living room until we move. So, two more days before I get to show you guys our new place before we move stuff in. So, hopefully, we can get rid of all these bugs by then and tonight. We're just trying to take it easy and we need to go to bed. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thumbs up if you did. And comment below if you have any remedies or any other ideas for how to get rid of these things or things, uh, anything. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.